Hello everybody, and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. And, uh, yeah, we just, uh, helped a guy get off on somebody else's pain. Felt weird. But we're going to see where that goes. Apparently he's going to try and find more people to do that to. So, um, we may end up killing him eventually, almost certainly. But, hey, for now, the man lives. Um, okay. Now, I don't think I have anybody different in my party, but maybe we'll just go and walk by this perception check just to see. <laughs> and then we'll probably be going to the toll house. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we have the same in our main party. Oh! Something over there. Never mind. We must have had somebody else switched in. Oh, it might have been when we had Halson. Okay, well, we've probably used whatever that key is for. Um, there was another one right around the corner, so maybe we'll do that too. Soldier, la la la. No, no, no. He's gonna walk in it. What's next? I've got a long road ahead. How much farther can I go? Nope, not that one. Okay. Fair enough. Oh god, this fight. We got stepped on so hard last time. Now, for all of these guys, there's been some kind of other way through talking that we could get through it. She was asking for money. Maybe you can, like, overload her with money and she'll just, like, die or something. Who, who knows? I have no idea. But. I also want to try the heat metal thing. I will bring an end to the curse that shrouds this land. I require good. Toss a gold piece. How much do you want exactly? All that you have. <laughs> I don't hand out so much gold for so little in return. You may pass the river, but first you must pay. Now there might actually be a cheesy way of doing this. You could probably drop all of your gold at camp, and I wonder if giving her all the gold that you have in your inventory would appease her. 
I've already paid. Yes! Again! Interesting. We get advantage on this. We don't have a lot of bonuses to that, and it's probably hard as hell. Enough. You're an embodiment of the curse and its corruption. You get nothing from me. This is probably just going to piss her off. Checks out. I don't want to use a bunch of inspiration, because I might need it for some convincing on, Sha on Shadowheart's part, but okay. One I think I can live with. This probably won't get me anywhere, though. Corruption! No! Gold! I need gold! Requesting more than one toll per traveler is quite illegal, per the relevant statutes. What is your defense? 21. All right, I need to change my dice. I require go! All right. Ban, I can't try what I need to try if you murder me immediately. For fuck's sake, I just want to try heat metal. I'm not going to be able to now. They're going to murder me every time. Okay. Fuck yes. Um, there's no reason. Like, I can't even try what I need to try. <laughs> Alright, fucking one shots, bro. Jesus, 607. She's only level 8, so there's got to be other ways of beating her. Like I said, like, all of this shit, I think, I think heat metal's the answer. I really do. Never wanted the easy part. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Force the wearer to let go or receive disadvantage. Metal weapon or armor. So a bunch of those things count as armor. And I think they add to her health. Hope your soul is in good hands. All of those right there. I'd love to, thanks. Stealth mode activated. For a dull moment. That is unbelievable damage. Um, it didn't get her to drop anything. Okay, so let's see. Has disadvantage. Okay, so it's something that like persists. So she was taking disadvantage rather than dropping the shit. This creature is a clinking emblem of golden greed. Could there be a method of removing the armor without destroying the coins? I wonder if we could rob her too. Alright, so heat metal didn't work right away. Um, the disadvantage is nice, but it seems like her thing is an AoE damage dealer anyway, which means that it doesn't matter that much, right? If it works like Shatter, for instance, which it kind of seems like it does.
Breathe deep and move. Damn it! What do you bring? I require go! You can pass, but for more gold! You may pass the river, but first you must pay! Why stay in this rotted building? Take your gold and be free. Okay, got that one. The gold is not for me. The gold is for the tall. I collect the tall. I collect the gold. Says who? Seems to me there's no one here to oversee you. Wow, we actually rolled a critical 20. Okay. Gold. Gold. I'll take it. One one Gold. inspiration so far. No. I paid back. <laughs> okay. Um All right. I'm gonna make a hard save. I still want to try something. I still want to see if you can steal the money off of her, because I'm curious. So we'll probably just live with this, not having to do that fight. That fight seems crazy. Um, the heat metal thing, I think could have been pretty good long term, had it... You just need her to miss her, her shit, but I don't even know if it can miss. I should, have, I should have checked to see if it had an attack roll or if it was just an AoE that we did a save on. Um. Okay, load that one. It looks like there was a place maybe to climb up from the bottom? No, I think that was to climb up higher, actually. Why do you do it like this? I double clicked on Vernac. Just go to Vernac, thank you. Could have. Didn't want to draw any attention. Okay. Don't know if I'm gonna be fast enough. I just want a little help. No, 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 go the oh, right no, way, you no, dumbass. No, I did it. I pushed it. <laughs> I was like, I was trying so desperately for it to trigger. All right, somehow we saved all of those. It said it failed right at the end, but something weird happened there. A trade visa? Okay, target nine versus target 250. So if we have the trade visa, I bet you we can use that to defeat her as well. Interesting selection. That one's a much harder roll. Pass the river, but first you must pay. 
Really? I don't get to use that thing as a bargaining chip? Oh, that's a missed opportunity. I collect the gold. All that you have. More gold. Um, that's... That's busted, man. No. In what universe, bro? Huh, that seems like a missed opportunity. You can steal that from her, but you can't use it against her. Maybe it's because I didn't read it? Maybe if I read it? This is for science. We already found a solution that works for us. It's all mine. Move. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm fine. Fine. Sometimes I get a little salty. Oh, you're gonna have to move faster, girl. Oh, okay. Go. Okay. Um, uh, whoops, I meant to manually load a save. I'm done trying. Uh, stealing the gold is gonna be difficult. It's only 250, though. Like, would that actually, like... I mean, I don't know how many gold pieces are making up each of those armor pieces, but if you stole that 250... I'm gonna try one more time. I got it. Lies before me. Let's get in and out. Oh, come on, game. Stop doing this. Fuck you. Are you kidding me? That's stupid. All right, we need a Sterian for that, but I'm not willing to go and get him to do it, so. Science is over. I just wanted to see. I wanted to see, but I'm not willing to try that 30 times to get the right roll. It's a really hard roll. Um, Anything of bitch heat? is dead. Twist of fortune? No time to dally. Got to keep moving. When you roll two or less with this weapon's damage die, re-roll it and take the new result. Okay, so there's still a possibility that you would roll a one or a two on damage still, but you get you still get to roll again. But the odds of you getting a worse roll are really, really small. Um, when you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. Blood of Lathander is still way better, but still a pretty good weapon if we didn't have that. An unsigned writ suggests a counterfeit in progress. Whoever made it was planning to trade illegally within the toll house. I can't believe I couldn't use that to to my advantage in that dialogue. Better take that. Yeah, so those were all the armor pieces. So what she was holding on her what might you hmm. be hiding? By all accounts, it seems like um, heat metal would have been a good option there, but I don't know, man. 
It made sense in my head, but then she can just one-shot you anyway, so it didn't matter. goods sounds promising sure does if there's a way to get inside oh I'll find it um you're not gonna let me back out what I can why is it a strength check Okay. Oh, oh, I get you. Okay. One gold piece? Still breathing, despite Well, I'm everything. glad I didn't <laughs> waste a bunch of shit on that, huh? Useful. That's one way to get into a safe. Very well. Okay, so the strength check was just to open the door because it was a So I think we did use the key. Gotcha. That was a little confusing. Might be worth a look. Okay, we'll look at we'll break that in a minute. Girl's got a freaking statue of herself. An official record of traders and goods passing through Wraithwin, as well as the tolls collected organized by date. Every entry is made with precise strokes, and each page stamped with a wax seal, bearing the letters GT. As the page pages progress, the number of recorded traders and collected toll dramatically dwindles. Iron Vine, while the wielder is holding a weapon empowered with shillelagh, and when they are hit by a melee attack, the attacker takes three piercing damage. So, shield bash, perception ability checks, and three initiative. Man, this is built for us, but like, what we've got is so good on our character right now. That sentinel shield is nice, but we'll send that to camp. We're walking through all sorts of stuff today. See that button? I see you. That's curious.
Nice, thank you bonuses. No one stopped me yet. Definitely an area over there. No traps, please. Swift as my feet can carry me. Hmm, what's that? Okay, not seeing anything to break this direction. Ooh, can climb down there? Yeah. Garengot's logbook. This messy financial ledger records an import tax charged to merchants by the Wraithwind Toll House. The tax was clearly excessive and included gems and jewelry in addition to gold. Several notes are scribbled on the final page. Trade slowing, merchants scared of Ketherick, nervous of war. He will not take my due. Oh, another soul coin. Not that we're using any of those damn things, but someday. Don't mind if I do. Okay, we are encumbered. Okay, could there be undead that's gonna pop out of these? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time we've seen that happen. Damn, who was she keeping down here? These poor people.
Okay, well that seems like all that's down here. Okay. That looks a little funky, but I don't know if that's anything. Maybe? No. No, I don't think so. Here we go. Why'd you do that? Oh well, we need to be up here anyway. Sharp as ever, as one does. No time to rest. else in this room? Not really. A hero at heart. We are gonna run out of lockpicks. No trouble at all. We're down to 18. Gloves of Battle Mage's Power. When a weapon attack roll inflicts a condition, the wielder gains arcane acuity. Strength saving throws plus one. Um, they need to be a little bit more specific. When a weapon attack that we get on somebody else, or when we receive a condition from somebody else's weapon attack. Uh, affected entity has a plus one bonus to its uh, spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class per turn remaining. Sounds like it's when we receive a condition, then we, yeah, get a plus one. Okay. the key to these doors probably no it wasn't okay all right if you say so who might are you Perception check. Uh, there's guidance. That's curious. OK. 
Okay, I mean, I see that. Can I interact with it? Oh, oh. Please read. If you find the safe, I'm inside. Had to shut myself in to avoid the shadows. There's no gold. If you're thinking of killing me for it, Garengoth moved it all to her personal coffers. And I'm unarmed anyway. Just let me out when the shadows are gone, and I'll find a way to repay you. I've only got three candles with me, so hurry. The combination to unlock the safe has been written in big, bold handwriting below. Bro, you have probably been dead for ages. The heavy door grinds open. <laughs> the combination poor. work. This poor man. I can. I can reach you. I want to see what dialogue you wrote for this shit. Come on. Man. All right. Bro had some water left, too. All right. What's inside? Why is there so much shit that I can't reach, quote unquote? I promise you I can. Okay, we need to figure out how to get into here. Looks like that can break. Um, just in case. Yeah, there we go. That's curious. Come on, game. Hope this ends well. Got it. You come to me. Quick, before Featherfall wears off. Come on! <laughs> come on, you asshole! The pride of the gate. Fuck you. Oh my god. Keeping pace. I'm literally about to run out of time. Um, fuck you. Come on. Oh my gosh. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Defender of the people. I'll see what I can do. This game is fantastic. But it's not without its issues. Let's <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> oh my god. No one stopped me yet. Fireheart. Whenever you take fire damage dealt by another creature, you gain two turns of heat. Nah, I'm not gonna use that. Bro, are you coming? Defender of the people. Can't give up now. <sighs> I'm not. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all good. It's Anything all good. Of use? If not over, then through. Wish I had a bag of holding. Forget it. It's blocked from behind.
give it a shot. Hauliers and merchants wanted. Sail the silvery seas, gaze upon the gate. No experience required. Is this just a chasm? Sure is. Okay, so no jumping down there. Cheese from the Dale Lands. Or what's left of it. All the way from Thay. Jewels and gems, probably. One's still in there. Okay, I think we've been pretty thorough. Um, I suppose the only other place... Let's get back upstairs. And climb up onto the roof one last time. There might be more up here. Very nice. Um, I heard rumblings that you can use ropes. Is that true or is that just something people want? No, there's not even an option to use. Okay, no. I think people were just like theory crafting that you might be able to use ropes to like climb down cliff faces or something. Okay. I think we're just about done. Yeah. I think we're just about done. We might be moving on. Uh, what's this? House with flowers. We kind of already dealt with that, so that just didn't get unmarked from the map. All right. Right, let's go and read that book. And then talk to Lizelle about it. Okay, so I need that cipher. Part one, part two. What is happening? Why isn't it working? It said Vernax started a conversation and then stopped. Greetings. Oh no, is it bugged? Don't do this to me. Hmm. That's not good. It said it was about Orpheus. That one's going to be an important one. You can't bug out on me. 
Um, shit. Just what I need. You know, I... If you're sure, fine. It is done. Oh, she's got to level up. Hundred and three HP. Indomitable. You've become as durable as an iron golem. Whenever you fail a saving throw, you can roll again using the new result instead. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Hey! This disc is embellished with Tirsu script. It shouldn't take much effort to decipher it. And there, from madness rises meaning. The Prince of the Comet, Part Three. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, just still Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus Voss himself? with his sword of silver. So he knows the truth. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon of Felamon. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. No, no. Gith's son died to Voss's blade. Orpheus is no more. Sounds like we need to talk to Voss about this. Okay. Let's try and give her all of these one by one just to see if it triggers anything. Because I remember some of the first ones we read. I don't think she was with us. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to pick up all of these. Especially the Orpheus Maybe ones. It'll bring us closer. Greetings. Um, no, I just gotta give them to her. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, these are the ones, though, the Orpheus. Okay, just wanted to be sure. Greetings. Chuck. As I was hoping you'd come to chat. All right. Look at that, she still does have long strider too. Can't slow down. I was wondering if I'd have to re-up that. Okay. We discovered all three books in the series. The final fate and whereabouts of Prince Orpheus are apparently unknown. What could have happened to him? Well, um, I think we're gonna find out from uh from Voss. Man, this is the only thing that I'm not like 100% on. I may look it up before I continue with the story. Um, hopefully spoiler free, just to see if um, I miss something. Yeah, Necromancy of Thay is technically still... Not marked as complete.
maybe I should go through the process of reading the book um, with Asterion. I still think that her journal entry is bugged. It doesn't it doesn't have any updates on us um fixing her fixing her engine. Let's see. I don't even know who this is. We should find and release them. Will's very soul hangs in the balance. I wonder if it is his dad. What if his dad is the infernal asset? Both of them are tied to Zeriel's... Mizora here. Hmm. Keith Ruck Voss appeared at her campsite. Yep, okay. We'll have to ask him more about that. Okay, this is basically telling us that since he didn't get to speak to Raphael, which honestly I didn't even know that Asterion wanted to speak to him, so... Oh well. But it's telling us, hey, nothing's gonna happen till Baldur's Gate. Alright. I think... I think we're good other than the lingering question of um, the Archduke. So I think I'm going to end this episode early and try and get a spoiler-free answer to my question um, of whether I need to just progress or not to do the Archduke stuff, um, to do Will stuff. So yeah, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, Turkeyfoot27, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.